So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating our own form of encryption. Um, so, uh, similar to that of MD5. So um, I'm going to show you just an example. So I have to echo um, the result of the function MD5. Um, so if I was to echo this. What we'll see is a 32 character long string. Um, which that is um, the encrypted version of this is my string uh, using the md5 encryption algorithm so here it is here here's the uh, md5 version so what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, create our own version of that of um it's not our own version of md5 it's our own version of encryption so let's do that so uh here what we're going to do is we're just going to create our function obviously i'm going to call it encrypt And what we're going to do is it's going to take one parameter called string. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is we're just going to first echo string. So it'll just basically echo whatever's been entered into it at the moment. Uh, so we just made our function and now we need to actually do it or uh, run it. So if we type encrypt and then we give it a string, uh, we'll get echoed string now. So, uh, if we go here we can see we get echoed string so obviously this is pointless because it doesn't do anything it just echoes what we enter into it so now what we're going to do is we're going to say um, string equals str underscore ort13 which is just a function that shifts every um, alphanumeric character uh, 13 characters further in the app or um, every character in the alphabet further uh, 13 characters further along so um, so uh, as you, uh, you'll see now if I was to say a and I was to echo string what we should get is M or N even uh, so what it gives is it gives us N so it shifts uh, the letter a 13 characters further over um, in the uh, alphabet. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to string and um, what this is going to do is it's going to take the word string and move it 13 characters over in the alphabet. So there's our string so far and we want it obviously to be um, all lowercase. So what we're going to do is now say string equals str to lower string and it makes everything lowercase uh, so there's our um, encryption so far it's pretty weak at the moment I mean that wouldn't take um, anyone that long to crack so what we're going to do now is we're going to say um, we're going to say string equals str underscore replace a with a one and and what we're going to do is just say in the string string so what this does is it says um it just says string equals the uh, str replace which is a function that says replace a with one inside the string string and string is whatever is entered up here so what this will do is it won't actually do anything because we don't have any a's in our String, so I'll just say this is a string. So there it is now. Um, it's all uh, shifted over and it's uh, encrypted, sort of. So uh, let me see. Wherever we can find the one is wherever the A was. So um, um, we're going to copy this and do it a few times so we'll say place B with a 2, C with a 3 and um, we'll keep going actually. So we'll just line all this up. So we'll just change all these letters, so C, D, E, F, uh, 
and obviously we need to change all these four five six seven eight nine and then zero so now if we refresh it gets replaced with numbers and we're going to replace every space with an s so what we're going to do is just copy this again Replace a space with an S for space. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually use MD5. So we'll say string, whoops, string equals MD5. String. So now we get the MD5 of string and then we're going to run more things to it or uh, on it. So we're going to copy this again and paste it down. And now what we get is a weird, whoops, a weird uh, version of it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shift another 13 characters, which actually, you know, that just puts it back to it, wasn't it? Forget about that. Uh, then we're going, we're actually going to say, uh, Copy this. And change and paste it again, but we're gonna change this. So this time we turn uh, Z into one. Z Y we're just gonna do it backwards. So Z Y X W U T um uh so S R and um, we're going to change R, or I can work to Q there, and we'll get rid of the space because the MD5 version won't have any spaces. So we can get rid of that. And now we're going to change this, or uh, refresh actually. And it, as you can see, it's all been changed into a lot of numbers. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to MD5 it one more time. And then we're going to. Uh, shift all the characters one more time and then we're finally just going to um, well actually I know um, we will get this and we will change characters into uh, non alpha numeric ones Oops. so add it redo So we'll change uh, an A into um, a less than sign and a B into a greater than sign, C into a semicolon, and we'll actually just check, pick random letters, so I'll say M we will turn into a square bracket and add into the op opposite uh, and we'll do one more so we'll just change uh, I don't know an F into an at sign so there um, now if we refresh we have um, square brackets and things, so we're gonna do um, we're going to do one last thing, which is MD five and uh, shift all the characters thirteen places over one more time, and there we have. Uh, oh, and we'll actually also shorten it down, so we could say string equals sub str uh, string, and we'll say five ten. So what this will do is just pick five, well maybe not, actually maybe a bit more. Um, oh, and we have to put a semicolon on there. So maybe we'll make it a bit longer than that. So we'll say five, we could say five to 16, or I don't know, 15, and we'll say actually three. So what this should do is, so what this does is it gives us a 15 character string.
Um, so uh, that's it really for this video. Uh, we can actually just get rid of the echo there. So now we have our own type of encryption. So we can encrypt our own string. So we just echo it. Okay. Um, and we'll say return string. And there we have our string echoed out to us. Uh, what we can do is we can even encrypt anything we want. So we could say creative code, encrypt that. So, and this is what it is. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more, if you have any questions about this or anything in general, just send me a message or leave me a comment. Uh, I try my best to get to them, but sometimes I don't. But I do read them, but sometimes I don't get a chance to reply. Uh, but uh, if you'd like to learn more about encryption or anything like that, just uh, let me know, and I'll make more videos about it. And as I said before, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe.